So it must have been 2002. I must have been 21 years old when I decided to just let go of Game Elite for good. And But just think about how long that dream was a part of me from 7 years old to 21. Spent most of that time genuinely believing that this was like my destiny. This is what I was going to do with my life. So letting go of that was a surreal experience for me. And ever since then, I've never been as idealistic about a dream. I mean, I've been close. I was in most of my dreams, you know, they, they, they suffered for the same reasons this one did. Just especially when it comes to not having the respect for the process and the hard work and the work ethic. I did work hard in my own way, but I just didn't develop myself in such a way that could bring these dreams to fruition. I just, I just had this blind, idealistic, like knowing, even though it was a wrong knowing, it was a knowing that it was just all going to work out. It was all going to fall into place. And it didn't because, because I didn't develop it the way, like I didn't, I didn't get down into the, the nitty gritty of, of learning the skills, like in, in a process and being patient with the process and learning from mistakes. It's hard to learn from mistakes when you think that you're, you're perfect. I mean, I don't know why I thought that exactly. I just, I've just felt self-assured, but like, I don't know. I probably wasn't that open to criticism. I just, you know, it just, there, there was no foundation to bring that dream into reality and it's been the same with a lot of my dreams ever since and it's been something that I've had to to get real with myself about and own the fact that I'm a flawed human being and I have so far to go but things are attainable as long as I I, I know my limits and I expand them when possible and I learn and I develop skills and I I develop organized plans and Instead of just assuming that everything's going to fall into a place, I, I take the actions that can lead to the manifestation of ideas.